You've heard that it was said, love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons and daughters of your father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. If you love only those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors doing that? And if you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. This teaching from Matthew 5 verse 43 following is an incredibly challenging one, isn't it? Because it is so counter-cultural, so counterintuitive. It runs against the grain of our basic human instincts that if someone does you something wrong, then you repay them that. You get your own back. You cause them to have their comeuppance because that's the way things work, isn't it? Well, Jesus is saying, no, it shouldn't work that way because you need to be like God, not like other human beings. And God, in his loving forbearance, in his grace, chooses to send his blessing and his provision upon even the evil. And so it opens up this grace space for them to respond and to change. And we need to do the same. We need to choose to love those who do us ill and create grace space for them to respond as out the light of our love and grace brings into focus their own evil doing. It's very difficult to do that of course but when we do we start looking more like our Heavenly Father like Christ and like his spirit than we do other human beings and people sit up and take note. Jesus started this whole section didn't he with those words let your light shine before other people that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Well this does that. People sit up and take note and we've seen that this week haven't we in the news story of those Christians gunned down in a prayer meeting uh, only for the families to turn around and choose to forgive the perpetrator of that crime and when, when that happens people go wow there's something not natural about that, there's something supernatural about that. And as we choose to do that, we also change our attitude towards those people, aren't we? As we pray for those who persecute us, as we systematically do that, we find that our attitude towards them changes and grace um, dissolves and, and renews us and opens us up to new ways of being like our Father in heaven. And so the challenge this week is to ask, who, who are my enemies? You know, I might not be somebody who's done something horrific or horrendous to me, but somebody who I, I'm in combative mode with, and to choose to pray for them and bless them and, and work for their good this week. And as we do so, to look for a change within ourselves of attitude towards them, and maybe to see a change in their attitude towards us as well.